Hi, my name is Prajwal and in this video tutorial, I will show you the steps to install WSUS for Configuration Manager. But first, let's understand what is WSUS. Windows Server Update Services is a solution by Microsoft to deploy updates to your computers. WSUS allows administrators to manage the download and installation of updates from the Microsoft Update website to the local network. Configuration Manager utilizes Windows Server Update Services to sync the updates, monitor them, and deploy software updates to your endpoints. Let's install WSS for Configuration Manager. To install WSS on Windows Server, first launch the Server Manager. Now click Add Roles and Features. Select Role based or feature based installation and click next. On the server selection window, ensure the server listed under server pool is a correct one. Click next. On the server roles window, scroll down and select Windows Server Update Services. Click next. Do not select anything on features window. Click Next. On the WSAS window, click Next. On the Role Services window, by default, the WID connectivity and WSAS services are selected. Uncheck WID connectivity and select SQL Server connectivity. Click Next. On the content window, you must specify the location where you want to store the updates. You can either specify local path or store the updates on a remote server. I am going to store the updates under the E drive, sources and WSUS folder. Click next. For DB instance, you must specify an existing database server. The WSS database will reside on the server. Enter the server name and click check connection. This will validate the server connection. If you see successfully connected to server, click next. On the confirmation window, click install. You don't need to restart the server after installing WSS. We have installed WSS, but there is one final step before we say it's complete. When you install Windows Server Update Services, the final step is WSS Post Installation Tasks. You must complete the post installation tasks, otherwise you may not see SASDB created in the SQL Server. Click Launch Post Installation Tasks. Wait for a few minutes while the post installation tasks complete. If you see the message, Configuration successfully completed, it means post installation tasks are complete. Click Close. Additionally, you can verify the presence of SASDB by launching the SQL Server Management Studio. Connect to the database engine. Expand databases and there you should find the SASDB. That completes the tutorial for installing WSS for Configuration Manager. Thanks for watching this video. If you have enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.